everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another Diamond Art Club unboxing. Um, this is a somewhat new release. It's a couple weeks old um, by the time I'm filming this and you will not see this right away. So it's it's a new release, but not a super recent release. Um, I'm excited about this, but I also have some questions. So let's go get right into it. So this kit here is Red Riding Hood from Sandra Winther. It's a 56 centimeter by 71 centimeter round drill. Now this is a somewhat new artist to Diamond Art Club. I think there's been one other release. Um, but when I saw this kit, I was like, wow. And then I went over to her Instagram. Huh, there is some beautiful artwork over there. And I am so curious to see what Diamond Art Club has lined up from this artist because Wow, she has some absolutely gorgeous artwork. We have a new toolkit. All right, let's see what we have. So we have our small sticker here. I put mine on the bottom of my box. It just works best for me with my storage. Let's see what we have in our new toolkit. That's two kits in a row for me that I've had the new toolkit, so that's exciting. All right, so we have a bag of baggies. Oh, there's my pen. I was like, where's the pen? <laughs> an orange pen with an orange grippy. The heart-shaped wax caddy with two plates of wax. We have a thin four placer and a thin seven placer. My favorite, two favorite multi placers there. We have the new tray, which has a stopper. I love this new tray. I actually use them, which is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a washi tape with cats. Ooh, this is so exciting. <laughs> if you have been around my channel or you know me, it's cats. I love cats. That's so cute. And then we have one of the little heart cover miners. I have a similar one to this, but it's a different pattern on the inside. So that's really neat. Cute. If you don't know what a cover miner is, um, they're used to hold back the plastic on your diamond painting. So you would put this part on the bottom, peel the plastic back, and then you would... Oh, I got the wrong side. Hold on. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and then it would hold the plastic back for you. So that's what's in the new toolkit. Uh, not every uh, kit has the new one just yet, but eventually. So it's very exciting when you do get a new toolkit. All right, now let's dive into this painting. I'm so excited to see it. Now, as soon as this one was released, I was like, wow, that's beautiful. But then I was also like, I have some questions. <laughs> Um, I'm curious about the rendering in a couple of areas, so let's see. Let me roll this backwards. Now, of course, uh, Diamond Art Club is poured glue, so you can roll your canvas back without any issues. Please do not roll a double-sided adhesive canvas or a mounted film adhesive canvas backwards. You will ruin, you'll just ruin it, and that will be a bummer. <laughs> So we have our instruction sheet here. There is a coupon code in there. Um, we have our larger sticker sheet. So it gives you the title of the kit, the artist, your start and end date, a larger photo of the artwork, size and drill type, and then you have all of your stickers for kitting up. Now this kit has 36 colors and, wow, five ABs in this one, cool. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We're gonna have to do it this way uh, just so we can get the full artwork in. Um, but I will put a picture up here of what it looks like in the correct orientation. Okay, so first thing I wanna say, with a round drill diamond painting, it can be hard to see the image before the diamonds are placed. So with 
the rounds, you know, you have the circles and then you have the colors and sometimes the the symbol colors are different than the drill, so it just kind of looks a little funky. So don't take this as what the image will fully look like until you have diamonds on it. Now, my question was her face. I'm going to pull out the colors in her face and see what they look like. Um, I'm intrigued. I didn't think the rendering looked great, um, but we'll see. Now, I think this one, okay, this kit reminds me of, oh gosh, what was the character's, oh, sorry about that, guys. I just had to, I just started coughing it while I was in the middle of the sentence. Um, I'm recovering from being sick, so I apologize if I sound different than normal. Um, I'm trying to think of the character's name in Once Upon a Time. Was her name Red? Ruby? It was Ruby. Um, she obviously played the character of Red Riding Hood, but if you can see here, there's actually wolf ears, like, silhouetted behind her hood. So I'm not going to spoil Once Upon a Time, but this artwork reminds me of that character. Um, but yeah, I, I do think it's a beautiful image. I do have some questions about her face. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the drills and then I'm going to uh, take a second and pull out the AVs and the colors in her face and we will go over all of that. So um, let's open these drills. I apologize if you hate the crinkling. All right, so as expected, we have one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 310. I feel like, yeah, there's more. Let's start with this, this bag here. Ooh, we have our first AB. So this is 111. I have never seen this AB before. It's like a magenta. We have 154, two bags of that, three bags. We have three bags of 310 here, and we had six before, so nine bags total of 310. We have 814. So here is the rest of the 310s. We have three bags of 939, 3835, 321, 3834. Ooh, pretty blue, 820. I have a feeling that's going to go in her eyes, maybe. 817, 3371, 327, 498, 915, small bag of 823, and then we have some 600. <coughs> Excuse me. We have some really small, cute little bags. We have 666, 550, 3836. 917, 718, 110, so another AB drill. Let's cut that one out. 601, 3804, 210, 136. I love this blue AB. <coughs> Excuse me again. <laughs> 3805. 3607, 355, 3826, 798, 138, 333, 783, 120, and 158. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Uh, leave you guys for one second so I can pull out the colors in her face and then we will take a look at the AB drills and her face. So I will be right back. Okay, so I am back and I have her skin tone, which is like I was afraid of, very, very purple. Um, okay, let's just dive right in. So I've turned it around so you can see her face the correct orientation. So the main color is this symbol C, which is 3835, which is this color here. Now, this is very purple, okay? 
I understand that it's probably dark. Maybe there's some lighting on her face. I'm not, you know, like here's the artwork, right? In my opinion, her face does not look purple in the artwork. There's definitely a purple hue. Like I would say she has some like highlight or something you know like this is has a purple tint and under her eyes has a purple tint but her skin itself to me does not look that purple maybe i'm wrong let me know your thoughts down below so that's the main color and then kind of around the outside of that is symbol y which is 3834 so it's this darker purple Um, they also use the, one of the triangles, which is 327. So here's this purple. They also use 3836, which is the symbol X. And that's kind of highlighting around here and around her nose. So again, another purple. And then 210 is also used kind of to highlight, and that's symbol E. So it's kind of right in the middle of where the X's are. Now, there are some other colors um, along the outside, but I felt like these were the most, like, part of her, middle of her face, okay? So you can see it's very, very purple. And in my opinion, that just doesn't really come across in the artwork now I definitely agree that like I said before there's a purple hue but is it straight up purple I don't think so <laughs> so I'm definitely going to trust the process I'm going to lay this lay these diamonds down as they have charted them and then I will go from there I don't have any plans to change it um, but if I feel like it makes her look like a little too alieny then maybe I will the thing that I am seeing about her face, aside from her lips and maybe like this part of her nose down here, is this is all color blocked. So if you're unfamiliar with color blocking, it means you have a large section of the same color. So all of this here, that's all C. Right along the outside of it, that's all Y. So you can definitely get in there with your multi-placer and, you know, knock her face out pretty quickly. There is a lot of confetti, so if you're not familiar with confetti, so her lips, if you look here, there are a lot of color changes through there. Um, the kit in general looks very color blocky. Um, I would say this is definitely the most confetti area in the kit itself. So those are my thoughts on her skin tone. It's coming across a little too purpley, but we'll see. If you have purchased this kit and you're currently working on it, please let me know if you feel like this is too purple or if it's translating really well within the diamond painting because that is possible. You know, the the people that hand chart these pieces for Diamond Art Club are amazing at their job. They're fantastic at rendering the artwork, but I feel like sometimes there can be, you know, a hit or a miss every now and then. Um, I'm not saying this is 100% a miss. I'm just saying I'm a little suspicious about it. My personal thoughts. Let me know if you feel differently. Curious. Okay, so let me clear these away. I'm going to pull you guys up just a little bit. Isn't she so pretty though? <coughs> Excuse me again. I'm so sorry. All right, now let's pull out the AB drills because I am curious to see where these go. So our first AB is 110, which is this pinky red color. Now that is symbol one. And where do I see symbol one? Oh, unfortunate. I don't see any of her lips. I like to add a couple of ABs in the lips of my kits if it's a person, obviously. Um, but number one. I feel so dumb when I can't find it right off the bat. Um, sorry guys, I'm looking. Okay, I see, I see literally one. <laughs> I see one, number one, right over here. Um, 
I mean, it's not a very big bag, but I feel like there's probably more than just one. Um, one, one, one. Why don't I see any ones? Um, I really don't see any. <laughs> there are a lot of red backgrounds, so I could just, my eyes may just not be picking it up. Um, I do sometimes have a harder time with the round kits finding where the ABs go, so that could be what's happening here. Uh, I'm going to put this one aside for now and we'll see if I can find more as I keep looking. The second AB is 111, which is this beautiful like magenta color. This is symbol number two. Let's see if I can find any twos. Uh, I mean, the background is pretty much, I'm going, it's definitely 310, but I'm guessing probably 939 is the other symbol in the background. So I don't think we're going to have any ABs back there. Um, two. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Again, I see one. I see one right there. I see one number two. <laughs> um... I see a couple more over here. So it looks like they're kind of just going to be like sprinkled throughout her cape, which makes sense. Again, it's a pretty small bag, so I wouldn't expect to see too many. Uh, our third AB is 120, which is this beautiful blue. Now, I did see this one in her eyes. So right in the middle of her eyes, I see this blue. I'm guessing that's the only spot, honestly, because where else is there really a lot of blue? Um... Yeah, that's the only spot I'm seeing that lighter blue, at least. Um, our fourth AB is 136, which is the darker color. And this is symbol four on the canvas. Now, I did see this one over here. So if you look at the artwork, there's kind of like little bubbles, I guess. I'm not quite sure exactly what they're supposed to be, but it seems like that's where most of these ABs are. So there's some here in this one. There's also some up here. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Some up here in this little fleck of light, I guess, maybe. There's also some here. So kind of just sprinkled throughout. And then our final AB is 138. It's another blue, and this is symbol five on the canvas. Um, I see some of this in her eyes again. So there's the three, and then the five kind of surrounds it. So that'll be really pretty. Um, yeah, not, not very many ABs, um, which is cool. I think I may, when I get to this one, I may pick one of the red colors in her cape and replace some of those with an AB. I'm pretty sure I saw 321. That's always a really pretty AB. So maybe I will substitute some of those with some ABs just to kind of give her cape a little bit of a sparkle. But yeah, that's this kit from Diamond Art Club. Again, the artist is Sandra Winther. This is a 56 by 71 centimeter round drill. Let me know what you guys think about the skin tone. Curious to hear your thoughts. Um, but with all of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.